Well, in celebration of what I didn't even know because I hadn't been paying attention that much is the 10th anniversary of the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise I decided to display everything that I have Yu-Gi-Oh! related. Now I have some posters stored away and I will not be getting those out unfortunately. I wish I could but the, basically the first poster I have is of Yugi and a lot of the first season monsters and then the second poster is Enter the Shadow Realm and it's you know that says Yu-Gi-Oh! Enter the Shadow Realm and it's got all the second season monsters on there along with Yugi. So anyway this is besides those two posters this is what I also have Yu-Gi-Oh! related. Now again I didn't know it was the tenth anniversary to be honest and it's kind of surprising that this is a year of anniversaries if you know what I mean two major franchises celebrating one of my favorites Sonic celebrating two decades and this celebrating a decade which is kinda of hard to believe although some people may argue that the game actually started way before then but still the franchise really didn't take off until 2001, 2000, 2001 so anyway let's take a look at what I have here let's start off with these two things here now these here now this is empty but I still kinda keep it for for memory because what it was is I had uh, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon and Dragon Master Knight along with the Ultimate Dueling Guide and two powerful decks of Dark Revolution uh, Volume 3 in here I got this at Walmart uh, the same with this so <laughs> Technically, I had more blue eyes. I actually had two blue eyes, if you will. And I got this, I believe, when I was living in um, in Kansas is when I got that. And then uh, here I have something that I got recently last year, actually, for Christmas. This was the only thing at Walmart that was left. This is the only one that was left at Walmart and this is the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game collector's edition and I'm pretty sure some of you may have this but this, when I saw what was on here, I mean if you take a look at the cards that were on here I was like I have to get this now I know some people may say well they're not the legal trading cards or the legal cards that you can use in a tournament that might be so but still you never know nowadays But when I saw this I said to myself you know what I'm going to get it it was the only one and that's what I did so it was pretty cool getting uh, the only one left there and in here I have another dark magician along with a few other things as well so getting this was actually kind of a, a unique uh, opportunity for me to you know to go out and get it you know and again like I said inside you know I'm pretty sure like I said some of you may know this we can get a peek inside just to take some of the plastic off I like to keep the plastic on here you can see in there I have blue eyes red eyes and dark magician which were technically the three the three main cards of the first season the three main uh, aces if you will or monster cards of the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise that really started it out that a lot of people wanted so and you know because of this I actually when it comes to Ma Dark Magician I have more than just one Dark Magician and I have more than just one Blue Eyes I have more than just three I think I have four or five Blue Eyes and about three or four Dark Magicians maybe <laughs> go figure but that's what I have here now over here this doesn't have no cover on it I might want to print one out very soon since I have some uh, ink but this is one of my Yu-Gi-Oh albums and I've shown this before and this is technically every card that I had stored up and then in the back you can see some of the packs and everything that I used but this is technically every card a majority of my collection right here this is the majority of my collection right here. I mean, this took me a while to fill up. The only thing that kind of got me or irked me at times uh, about it was when my nephew, who's a Yu-Gi-Oh fan, I don't know if he still is, probably is, 
because when he was visiting here about a week ago or so, I saw him playing the Yu-Gi-Oh! 5DS game on uh, the Xbox 360, and um, which you can download. And But again, what irked me, but I really didn't have a problem, but it just kind of irked me at times, is when he would take the cards out of here and use them as uh, playing cards in a, in a, you know, a, a game between me and him. Now, if you want to see the duel between me and him, we did one for YouTube back in 2008. You could see it here on YouTube. It's B.W. Rose's A.R. Coda. Check that AR Carter 1, that is. BW Rose's AR Carter 1 battle, you know, facing, you know, we're basically competing against each other in a duel game. So, and I think the first time I, I played him in a duel game, I actually kind of beat him because we, I guess we really didn't know much about the rules. We kind of had an idea. And uh, what happened was I ended up beating him because. I actually did something right, I think, where I ended up using, and he may correct me on this, but I ended up using, I ended up getting all three of my blue eyes together, and I, I remember him saying, oh great, he's gonna, because I think we tried doing a video for my original channel, but it got deleted along with my original channel, and I didn't save the video, but I can remember him saying, oh great, now he's gonna summon his blue eyes ultimate dragon and wipe me out, and that's what I did. So, although he could correct me on it, but I, if I remember that correctly, that's, that's what happened. And as you can see, I have a lot of cards that, you know, I don't, you know, I didn't think at first I'd probably get, like right here. I have Toon Summoning Skull. I have Toon Blue Eyes. I have Dark Witch. Now, this character is pretty pretty important if you think about it if you watch capsule monsters and I'll get to that in a second because she's Taya's uh, main card or main uh, ace if you will in her deck when it comes to that show but again these are all of uh, the mo uh, monsters that I have um, not monsters but all the cards that I have here um, which was pretty cool. As you can see there, that's one of my Black Eyes White Dragons. I mean, not Black Eyes. Yeah, Black Eyes Black Dragons. One of my Black Eyes Black Dragons. I'm sorry about that. It's about 3.07 in the morning, so forgive me about it. And then right here, this is actually the other three versions of these cards that I have. Because I have these three in my main deck, but I ended up getting them again, so go figure. And then right here we have all these. This is one of my favorites right here. This is uh, Elemental Heroes Bustikia, or whatever her name is. Busterix, or whatever. And I liked her because I think she was one of Jaden's ace cards, one of his primary cards. That was pretty cool. But again, these are all the cards that I put into this album. Like I said, it took me a while to, to even do it. Because I had so many cards. But I took time out one day to say, you know what? I need to take a lot of these cards instead of having them all scattered about. Because I think I had some of these scattered in a tote somewhere. I decided just to take care of it. So these are, like I said, all the cards that I have in this album. And as you can see, I have Magician of Black Chaos. And then right here is my second Wing Dragon of Raw. I got this for about sixty-seven dollars off eBay. Now I don't know if it's legit or if it was one of the rare ones or whatever it was, but it has. God, I really hate to bring it out, but kinda has a faded back to it is what it does it has that so some like I said it could be one of those that you can't use in a tournament 
Now these are all my other cards here. Black Magician, Black Magic Ritual, as well as Dark Magic Curtain, which I have. And then, like I said, up here is some of the primary cards that I have. Here's one you might recognize from GX and from bon Bonds Beyond Time. Here's U Bell, right here. Here she is. Here's Griffford, the Legend, Dark Eradicator Warrior, Chaos Emperor Dragon, Envy of the End, Cyber End Dragon, Ocean Dragon Lord, Neo Daratus, I can't pronounce that, and then one I like the most, Toon Dark Magician Girl. So, that's part of that album. There. And then this here. I think I got th this in Kansas, and I think I sent one uh, to my nephew for, I think, his birthday or for Christmas. This is the Master Collection. I'm not sure if you remember the one this came out. I think this was like the first volume of it. This is the very first volume. I don't know if there's any other volumes that came out. But this is the Master Collection. As we open it up, you could see that you have all these cards that are here. There are cards in here, there's no doubt, but I'm not going to take them out. But then you take a look at the cards inside. You have uh, Exodia, the Forbidden One, the head of him. You have Barrel Dragon, Relinquish. You have Thousand's Eyes, Restrict. You have Dark Necrofear and Dark Ruler Ula as well. So that's pretty cool there to, to have this. And then here is my very first album. I remember buying this. I think it was at Haste, I think it was at Walmart. I bought this one, and then inside is all my cards. Here's my very first. These are some of my first cards right here. Like here is my very first Dark Magician, and my very first Blue Eyes, and so and then there's this Skull Dice, a Thousand Dragon, Flame Swordsman. Part of Greed, Graceful Dice, Soul Exchange, uh, Curse of Dragon, Gaia the Fierce Knight, Celtic Warrior, Mystical Elf, Lord of Dragon, Mother Grizzly, Summon Skull, my first Summon Skull, the Time Wizard, Flute of Summoning, summoning Dragon, Insect Barrier, Monster Recovery, Dark Hole, you know, just basically all the first, all the cards that came out. Uh, during the first season, mainly all of them uh, are right here in this album of mine. Well, the ones that I have. I'm sorry about the lighting too, because it's like I said, it's past three o'clock. It's about three twelve now in the morning. I know some people may watch this and say, "What the hell was he doing up that late?" Hey, it's like I said in my uh, videos in the past, and this change of heart, one of my favorites. It's like I said in the past, you know, right now during the summer, this is the only time, one of the only times I have. This exchange. Lady a Assailant of Flames. And here's some Japanese ones right here. So, these are all my cards right here. And then over here, these are some of the card tin, that some of the tins that I got. Like right there is a dual Duelist Pack Collection. Here we have the Crystal Beast, and yes, I have all the Crystal Beasts in there. Here we have a Rainbow Dragon tin pack. Above that we have a structure, the Dinosaur, Dinosaur's Rage Structure Deck. Dark Emperor structure, structure Deck. Then up here we have Light of Destruction Special Edition. Then over here we have the Japanese version of the Merrick Structure Deck. Then over here we have the Phantom of Darkness Special Edition. And that, and, and, and these in here, these cards that are in these red packs, like this Dark Magician, the, this is a, a, a deck that my nephew put together, and I think I talk about it on my channel. Check it out. If you want to. Then right here we have um, a special, I guess you could say, Yu-Gi-Oh pack. It's uh, six U.S. packs, four, 44 international cards, and 
three ultra rare cards right here and then down here is my gamers I got these at uh, Blockbuster here in town I think this is the first one I got and this is the second one they all came with cards most of them I think go in here or in my deck and you'll see my deck in a minute and right here is another tin this is full of cards this is definitely full of cards this is one of my first tins and like I said it's so full of cards on there you, you wouldn't believe it see that's all the, a lot of the cards that I have and again I, I have another album I just gotta get some things to put these cards in so they're not always scattered about so I'm probably gonna end up doing that real soon and then here I have Grifford, Grifford the Lightning the one thing I will say about these is that I'm very careful with them I, I, you know I try to keep them safe and everything but when you have some kids around you never know and then here this here is my deck if you will now I know you think that's kind of silly but anybody that's a fan has to have a deck just in case you know for fan for just fanfare or something like that they can you know play against a family member or a friend now as you can see the one of my favorite dual monsters is on there and that's dark magician girl and this is actually my second dark magician girl I think I only have two maybe three dark magician girls that's the new design here's the original design right here of dark magician girl and as you can see in fact let me get into a better position here as you can see there's dark magician girl dark magician magicians valkyria everybody's been asking me about this about trading it and I'm gonna tell you right now it is not for trade I am not trading magicians valkyria for anything I got what happened when I lived in Kansas the Walmart I worked for had a magazine stand and they always had Shonen, Shonen, Jump, Shonen Jump magazines and one of them one of the Shonen Jump magazines which always had a Yu-Gi-Oh card at times had Magicians Valkyria so I said to myself you know I have the money I'm gonna get the magazine and I'm gonna get Magicians Valkyria and that's what I did so there's Magicians Valkyria and again she is not for trade or sale Pyramid of Light Blue Eyes, Black Luster Ritual, Sphinx Telea, Andro Sphinx, Thinian the Great Sphinx, Black Luster Soldier, my original Blue Eyes, my original Blue Eyes, right there. One of my favorite cards, Harpy Ladies. Harpy, the original Harpy Lady, that was Harpy Lady 2. Sword of Revealing Light. Red Eyes Black Chick. One of my personal favorites, Cyber Harpy Lady. A little dented, but that's okay. My other blue eyes, but this is in Spanish. But this is not the other blue eyes. The other blue eyes I'll probably have to take out of the thing, but this is my first blue eyes. Red Eyes Darkness Dragon. Here we have XYZ Cannon, Dragon Cannon. XY Dragon Cannon. X Head Cannon. Megamorph. Guardian Angel Jonah. Or Guardian Angel Joan. Gaia the Fierce Knight. Magic Jammer. Polymerization. Return from the different dimension mystic elf diffusion wave motion wing weaver if I ever need an ace in the hole right there elegant egotist harpy lady sisters harpy lady three harpy lady one Y dragon cannon Z metal tank mirror force the Japanese edition Gemini Elf, P Premature Burial, Harpy's Brother, Nightmare Will, 
Change of Heart, Monster Reborn, My Other Blue Eyes, that makes five blue eyes, Card of Sanctity, Red Eyes Black Dragon, and boom. Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. Now you might say, is that all? Actually, below it, it's not. Because here we have Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon and Dragon Master Knight. And that is my deck. Now you might say that's impossible to have. Guess what? It's not as impossible as some people think. And that's why I always keep my decks intact. If you know what I mean. Now, on to some other things that I have Yu-Gi-Oh! related. And we'll get into it at the end of this video, so thank God. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, here we have some of the um, graphic novels, the Shonen Jump graphic novels. Two of the first ones, Volume 1 and Volume 2. Got these at a Hastings in Kansas. Then over here, we have... Yu-Gi-Oh! The Complete First Season. I got this for, I think, about five, six dollars or something like that at a Big Lots. Can you believe that? At a Big Lots, I got that for, 16, for I think, six dollars. That's unbelievable. Then over here, we have Yu-Gi-Oh! The Movie, which I saw in theaters, and that's how I got my black eyes, I mean, my, not my black eyes, my blue eyes, Shining Dragon. Then up here, we have Capsule Monsters 1 and Capsule Monsters 2. And then down here is the newest one I just found out about, the 10th anniversary movie, Bonds Be On Time. And then, for the coup de gras, we have this. That's right. This here, if I get that in position, you may find it ridiculous, but this is the dueling disc they used to sell. I'm sure they've sold a lot of other ones now. You know what it does. And with a flip of the switch, if I can find it. There you go. That's the dueling disc. Again, flip of the switch. There you go. Now you might say that someone like me that's 32 years of age shouldn't be collecting this kind of stuff. But you know what? I know I'm not the only one that does collect this stuff. I remember I walked into a Hastings and there was somebody wearing a green, Grim Reaper costume or something like that. And he looked like he was my age and he was playing, playing a tournament. And because they had tournaments there. So, I know I'm not the only one at my age that collects this kind of stuff. So, overall, I thought I'd just showcase to you my Yu-Gi-Oh! collection. Now, I do have some Yu-Gi-Oh! episodes on DVD, variety DVDs. I have the finale, the final five part, four or five part finale. So, and I pieced that together as a movie. So, you know that's about it so there you go folks right there the finale the, not the finale but this is my Yu-Gi-Oh collection minus the posters that I talked to you about and I hope you enjoyed this video if you got any comments you know what to do leave them down below if you want to I would appreciate it and I will talk to you all next time you all have a great night a great day I'm going to put all this stuff back now and then try to get some rest because I got to be ready for my for you for my now 4 year old nephew's birthday tomorrow and I hope he enjoys the gifts me and my mom have gotten. So, peace out.